In this particular exercise, we are going to solve a system of equations that has three equations and three variables to it. We have 3x minus y plus 2z equals 14, x plus y minus z equals 0, and 2x minus y plus 3z equals 18. Our first step is going to be to determine a variable to eliminate from two sets. We'll notice that y's have like coefficients but opposite signs if I look at the first and second equation as well as the second and third equation. So let's go ahead and choose those two pairings. I will have 3x minus y plus 2z equals 14 and I will add that to x plus y minus z is equal to 0. Adding the equations up, 3x plus x will give me 4x. Minus y plus y will give me 0y. It has been eliminated. And I will have plus z equaling 14. Let's do the same idea on our second pairing. x plus y minus z equals 0. And 2x minus y plus 3z equals 18. We will add these equations together. I will now have 3x, the y's will zero out, plus 2z is equal to 18. What I'm left with now are two equations with two unknowns, and it is the same two unknowns. Both equations are in terms of x and z. It is critical at this step that both equations have the same two variables in them. Let's go ahead now and put these equations together. I will have 4x plus z is 14, and 3x plus 2z is 18. Now, in order to add these together and to get a variable to eliminate, I need to have like coefficients with opposite signs. Now, with the y's in the first step, that was already given to us, but we don't have a matching pair here. So we're going to have to multiply through by something in order to make this happen. 4 and 3, we could multiply through by an opposite form of each other. But to eliminate the z, if I just multiply the top equation by a negative 2, I will quickly get like coefficients with opposite signs. Here's what I'll now have. I'll have a negative 8x minus 2z equaling a negative 28. And 3x plus 2z equaling 18 still. I have like coefficients with opposite signs, and I may now add these together. I will have a negative 5x now equaling a negative 10, and dividing by a negative 5, I have x equaling 2. I have my x, but I am not done. Now I need to substitute back in to find my other variables. Well, I'll go back to one of my intermediate equations here, in order to find a z. I'll choose this one. I will have 4, and now we know that x is 2, plus z is equal to 14. Therefore, 8 plus z is 14, and subtracting, I get that z is equal to 6. I have now an x and a z. All I need left is my y. So I'll plug into one of my original equations, getting that substituting in to find the y. I'll choose the second one here for ease. Instead of having our original x, what I will have now is 2 plus y minus 6 equaling 0, or y minus 4 equals 0, and adding the 4 to both sides, I get y equals 4. I now have my x, y, and z values. We want to write this as an ordered triple. My solution is the point 2, 4, 6. Since this is my solution set, I will put these set symbols around that final answer. In order to solve a system of three equations with three variables, you must conduct the process in two steps. First, eliminate the same variable from two pairings of equations. Then, use your remaining reduced equations to get down to one variable solution. Substitute back in to work your way up to your final order triple.